You're watching, old mates. Backyard Tech. I am in no way, shape, or form a fully qualified mechanic, auto electrician, or auto HVAC technician. Therefore, if you are following along with this service repair and or information video, you are doing this at your own risk. So you have been warned. All right. Now, if like old mate, you own an 80 series Land Cruiser with a 1MZ FE and the factory exhaust system, you know the sound it gives off. And if you put your foot down hard enough, it can almost sound like you've got a turbo, even when you haven't. It's happened to old mate, a few young kids, I took off a bit hard and they thought I had a turbo. And I didn't. However, in saying all that, there are some people out there who absolutely loathe the sound of that engine through a factory exhaust system. Sounds like a rotten, annoying droning noise. As far as old mate's concerned, I love the sound that thing gives off. Well, the inevitable has finally happened. You see, a viewer's bought an 80 series with a 1MZ FE and they hate the sound of it. And they've asked old mate's opinion on taking off the factory exhaust system, putting on a set of extractors, a mandrel bend pipe, all the way back to a twin exhaust pipe out the back. A, what do I think of the idea? And B, is it something I would do to my 80 series? One of the best four-wheel drives ever made. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. It's 80 series time. If the end of that video doesn't give you an idea of the views I've got on this topic, I don't think anything will. It's just, I mean, how am I... Whatever way I answer this, it's going to come across as wrong. It's not the first time that's happened. <laughs> G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is 80 series time here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech for a Tuesday morning. And look, I know I'm going to come across as an old fuddy-duddy about this one, but 20 odd, 20 plus years ago, I would have done it on this. Now, no, it's the furthest thing from my mind on that. It's just not, it's not something I'm putting my mind to. You know, they, they say you're never too old to do stuff, but I'm going to come across as an old fuddy-duddy here. I'm too old to do stuff like this to that car. Um, because it, it's just... It's not something I even have put any thought into doing. Mainly because I actually like the sound of the factory exhaust and the engine note. Not only that, if you have got that, and you, you know, you, you might put your foot into it a little bit, it can sound like you've got a, a little turbo on that. You know, there's a street round here that's a, that you, you sometimes you've got to overtake on and, you you know, you, you put your foot into it a little bit and the kids are walking past. I'll go, oh, he's got a turbo, even though you haven't got one, <laughs> you know. But I, I'm too old to do this, all right? I'm not even thinking about it because it's... All right, let, let's get into this. This is from... This is from a viewer by the name of Simon. I got this late last week. Hi there, old mates, Backyard Tech. Recently found your channel and found some interesting information on there. Also recently subscribed to you. A few months ago, I purchased my first 80 series with a 1FZFE. It is a June 1994 model. I think that means it's a facelift. Um... I am so over the droning noise off the engine and the exhaust system. It is a noise I cannot stand. I am thinking about adding extractors, a 3-inch exhaust system, new muffler, resonator, and then a twin pipe hot dog on the rear. My question to you, is this something you've considered doing? How did it go? Or uh, what do you feel about the noise coming from the exhaust? How do you feel about the exhaust not coming from the the noise coming from the exhaust? <sighs> Maybe I should have read books when I was younger. Um, off the meat of the bat, Simon, um, and I, I I'm going to come like I said I'm going to come across as an old fuddy duddy here. Um, 
no, it's not something I'm doing. No, it's not something I'm thinking about doing. Um, I quite like the, the noise that thing gives off. Yeah, I've seen posts on forums about how people can't handle the, the droning noise of a 1FZFE through the standing exhaust. I like it. Um, my exhaust is in good condition, so why replace something if it's in good nick? What advantage is that? Um, extractors with a three-inch tail system, new center muffler and a resonator, and then a twin pipe hot dog at the back? It's not a sports car. It's a four-wheel drive. I don't know. I mean, extractors. All right. Let's look at this from a a, a on road, off road type thing. On road. Well, you'll get noticed by people. For what effect? I mean, it depends on, depending on the extractors you get and and how you make it sound. You could make that sound a bit bit lumpy. Give it a lumpy exhaust note. Well, why you bother? I don't know. Off road. It's going to make a hell of a lot of noise. Um. Performance off road. Extractors. It's not going to make a hell of a lot of difference, is it? I mean, I'm going to. I know I'm going to come across as an old fuddy duddy with this. If you're going to use it as a show car, yeah, all right, whatever. I don't. I mean, if you're worried about the drone of a 1FZFE, instead of putting in extractors and stuff like that, why don't you put a silencer exhaust system in it and make the engine even quieter, if that's all you're worried about? Um, I don't know. I mean, yeah, extractors will give you a better exhaust performance. They'll give you a nicer exhaust note. Three-inch tail, three-inch exhaust system on that engine. big exhaust system and a resonator I mean <sighs> I don't know how do you answer that all you're going to do is make it noisy I mean, like I said, depending on the extractors and the exhaust system, you might be able to get that straight six to sound a little lumpy. But why? I, I, I can tell you now. All right, I'm just going to say this. If I have to get another exhaust system for that car, I'll get the exact same system for that car. That little hot dog dumper out the tailgate, the little muffler there at the back, main center muffler, cat converter, and the standard mat exhaust manifolds off the block. An ordinary exhaust. 20 years ago or more, I'd probably do what that viewer might be considering doing. Not now. Not now. Because I just, yeah, I'm over it. All right? Extractors on four-wheel drives. I don't know. It's three-inch exhaust system. I mean, really? If you want. But it's pointless asking someone like me who, who's pretty much a factory default person. You know, I mean, 
I haven't chipped my engine because we know the uni chips can go into those. I haven't done that. I haven't done anything to the auto. I haven't done anything to the entire drivetrain of the vehicle. I've left it stock. You know, factory spec. Um, I don't know. Hobbs, Mark, anyone else? What's your point of view? I don't want to get into a shouting match and a slanging match over this, but, I mean... I know I'm coming across as an old fuddy-duddy and saying that I have no interest in putting <coughs> extractors and, 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 you know, twin tailpipes out the back of the inch exhaust system, a resonator and the centre muffler and the rear. I don't know. Anyone else? If that's something you're planning on doing or have done, how'd it go? Not for old, mate. I'm sorry, Simon, I can't answer that. I, I just... Yeah, I don't know how you. I don't know how you answer that. Um, it's all right. Look, let let me finish this video by saying this: if you want to, you can make sure you go to a proper exhaust specialist to do it. so that it's roadworthy, or at least road legal. But can I make a small suggestion? Take it to an exhaust specialist and discuss it with them because they may able to they may actually offer up an exhaust system that quietens the engine down so it doesn't drone as you put it. Whereas as far as old mate's concerned, if I have to replace that exhaust system, I'll just replace it with a factory standard one, to be brutally honest. There we go. Stick around. System setup and product review video. My 80 series viewers, let me know what you think. Um, you know the rules with the comments. So, at least they're respectful with the comments. Um, put your comments down below, you know, for this viewer. You know, and I'll once we get a few comments in, I'll I'll email this video link off to the viewer. But I, I don't know. I just, it's not something I've even put any thought to. There we go. Stick around. System setup, product review video coming up shortly. Have a good one.